Okay, so on one of our live chats, someone asked us a question about gradients and how could we get the gradient to be stronger on one side, especially when you've got an example image here with some text and you can see there's an icon on the right hand side and we got some white text here. But what if you want to add a gradient in over on this side? Here? Let me just very quickly show you what this is. This is just a very, very basic section. Okay, nothing fancy going on here. It's full width, no gap, minimum height, 70 viewpoint height or vertical height. Okay, everything is in the middle. We then have two columns. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the section has got a 100 pixel padding on the left and right just to bring things inwards a little bit. Um, by the way, though, I've, I've said it, but I just want to repeat myself. The content width is full width, okay? So the reason I've done that is because we are going to use column one to make the gradient stronger, okay? In column one, we just have text and uh, heading text, and in column two, we just got an icon. What we're going to do is add in a gradient color to the section, and then we're going to add it into the column as well. But by adding it to the column, we're actually going to strengthen what's on the section. Look, let me explain. Let me show you, okay? If I go to the section, I go to style, we have a background image, cover, center, center. We go to background overlay. We're now going to add in a gradient. Over here, we're going to add in a gradient color like that. And I'm then going to, for the second color, I'm actually going to make it be fully transparent. Okay, when you make it fully transparent, it now means that you're only applying the gradient to one side. The angle, I'm going to make this be 270, so it's perfectly, you know, you know, standing up vertical, however you want to call it. Now, here's where the problem kicks in with why am I even doing this stronger gradient methodology? Look at the gradient at the moment. If I was to now pick up this line here and I go like this, it will make the left side a slightly stronger, but then what happens is it starts to invade onto the right hand side as well. Let's put that back there. What about if I start to adjust this? Well, all I'm actually going to do now is weaken the left hand side until I sometimes like, I mean, look, if you were to put in the same value like that, you get a hard gradient. I don't want a hard gradient. I want a gradual one. So what I'm going to do is just pop all of this back like that. I am going to shrink the, the transparent color a tiny bit. So it's not completely going over the person of interest. It's just about hitting the shoulder. But that right hand, the left hand side, can you see over here? Look, it, it's pretty clear, right? Look, it's not very solid. I want it to be more solid, but I still want to have that gradual gradiency. Here's what you do. I'm going to go over to column one, okay? And I am going to undo something I've already done, okay? So don't feel like I've made a mistake. Let me just show you something, right? Let's go to column one. Let's go to style. Let's go to the background, gradient. And you're now just going to almost repeat what we've already done. So make sure you've got the color in. For your second color, I'm going to make that be completely transparent. Again, I'm going to put the angle in at 270. You can already see what's happening here, right? Now, before I continue, because the section has got basically um, like uh, the, the padding left and right, it's the column isn't going all the way flush to the left hand side. So what I need to now do is undo that. And that's why I wanted to mention it at the start so you don't feel like, oh, he's made a mistake. No, it's there's intention behind it. Then go back over to my section. Let's take away the left-hand side like that. Okay, I've taken it away from the left-hand side. In fact, what I would also say is go to the layout and I'm now going to remove the vertical height as well. Now stay with me on this, okay? You are probably thinking now it looks completely wrong. No, stay with me on this. I'm now going to go over to my column, stay within the column, okay, sorry, go to the column because we did everything in the section. Go to your column, go to advanced, and now I'm going to start applying some more padding. So on the left now, I'm going to go with 130 because it already had 30. Add on the 100 I took away, it now brings it in. Well, what about the top? Now, this is where you can make a decision over, are you going to use vertical height um, or EM percentage and all of that? I'm just going to go in there and pop in some values. I'll go with something like that. Okay. Now, please bear in mind, though, that because I've gone and done that, I might need to adjust this as well. 120 for the bottom there as well. There are other ways you could do this. You could just align it in the middle or anything like that. But what we now have is a stronger gradient on 
the left hand side, which is what our intention was. And if we go back over to the column, go back to your style, go back to your gradient, you can start to manipulate that. So do you want to have it really strong on the left hand side like that? Do you want to kind of float all the way across? You can kind of fine tune it a bit. But what we now have is more of a solid color, much more solid than what we had before. And it's gradually coming in. And if you feel like, well, you now want the section to go over a bit more, well, that's fine. Again, just go to your background overlay and just move it over a bit more like that. Look, there we go. Let's, in fact, let's just go all the way, okay? Just to make a point. And you can now see what's going on there. You've got a much more stronger gradient. And if you don't believe me, let's just go back over to our column and let's just completely remove that. And you can now see the before, well, the, the before, the after. Before, after, number one, number two. Do you get the drift? So it's pretty simple and easy to do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.